What up guys, my name is Kong, today I'm back again for another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about Lego Story Part 2. Basically it's a continuation of Part 1, so to speak. Uh, what did I like about this movie? I like the character, I like the anime, I like the quirkiness of it, I like the, the whole building it on the spot, the whole pew 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 pew, I love that. and. The world of it, I truly enjoy, and the the whole they try to meld the two worlds together, the real life world and the world of Lego. I like they had trying to you know intertwine together and how the Lego start, how the Lego will actual react, actual act in the real world. I find that funny, kind of you know not practical, but it is still funny. And I also like the. The message of the story is really about love. It's all about sharing. It's all about understanding. I like that. It's it sort of get through through me. I don't know about you guys, but I got the message. I got the message. Was it? Did the movie did an effective job? Another question, <laughs> so to speak. So, moving on to the con. What did I not like? Again, it. They did put too much in this movie, too many characters, too many side characters, too many singing that it didn't feel good. It didn't feel like it was appropriate, not appropriate so to speak, but uh, right for the movie. Or was it the, the right timing in the movies, that sort of thing. Uh, and they, uh, they throw you a curveball. You think that the queen of the shape-shifting queen with the villain, but it was actually the true, the other future Emmett. And you got more um, more back on him than the shape-shifting. So it, it threw you a curveball, which is okay and not okay, depending how you look at it. Um, that's, to me, it was... It's like, you don't know. To me, it's like... It tell me that the director, the writer, didn't quite know what they want. And they say, hey, let's just throw both of them in there. Because you have to only read that the, when you throw a curve, it's, eh, the curve has to connect. You are the better. I guess the director is the better, you know, the baseball better, you know, the person who's hitting the bat. But the, the, the writer are the the pictures and you throw the curve and the um the uh, the baseball player actually hit it in the sense that they connect in this in terms of that oh that's what really happened or oh that's why this happened you sort of get it but what i'm trying to get to is that you did not get any background story of the shape-shifting queen. She was actually the good guy and future Emily was the bad guy. It, it just didn't really, to me, it didn't really do well in a sense. It didn't wow you or surprise you. It was just, okay. I mean, I knew it was future Emmett. I'm not going to lie. I knew it was him, you know, because I've seen a lot of movies and they've done this. So it just didn't surprise me. That's why it was not a curveball. So, that's why I did not like about this movie. So, going down to the uh, my rating. What I rate, would I give this movie? I give it a 5 out of 10. It's not my favorite Lego movie. It's probably a little higher up to, than Ninjago. So, that tells you where it is. Uh, if you know what I'm talking in my letter of uh, Lego movies. 5 out of 10, I say go watch it if you have the time or you like Legos, then go watch it. But if you don't, it's not one of the movies you have to go see it. So, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channels. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Please do so. But most importantly, thank you so much for your time and effort. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.